Hey guys, Ramsey here. Wanted to do a quick review. This is going to be a spoiler-free review, uh, should you read, on Dauntless, the first book in the Lost Fleet series by Jack Campbell. Now, this book was really, really enjoyable. Long chapters, only 11 chapters and like 280 pages, and found it very, very enjoyable to read. I found myself at every moment going, man, this, this makes a ton of sense. Oh man, this is really cool. The way that they do uh, faster than light travel is really, really neat. The uh, common sense that uh, the the main character uses, um, just it, it, like every moment I, it was practical things put into a sci-fi environment. And I really, really enjoyed it. Give you a short summary of this. This is, um, there's a guy, Black Jack Gary, who was around at the time of the beginning of this giant war. There's the Alliance, who is our people, and then there's the Syndics, who are also humans, but they, um, basically, they're a giant corporation, and they're run by a CEO and a board of investors, and that CEO and board of investors have started a war with our people, who are kind of like the Alliance of Planets that um, is standing for the good and the brightness of the world, right? Or the universe. And so, Blackjack Geary is at the beginning of the war was in a surprise attack and through his heroics he went down with his ship and was fighting to the last man and basically won this giant battle so every kid that's come through the academy knows who he is knows his story knows what's going on the admiral of the fleet that finds him a hundred years later he's been cryogenically frozen um, basically just drifting in space he made it into an escape pod and somehow he ended up i didn't this part wasn't really gone into it and they may go to it in the later books but he was basically just in a cryogenically frozen pod while he was waiting to be rescued and then he never got rescued until 100 years later and so right as they find him they're doing a crazy counter attack and they're going all the way into the home world of the Syndics. And they're going to try to destroy their fleet with a surprise move. It goes poorly. The Admiral, who is a big fan of Geary, um, says, Hey, I'm going to go offer terms of surrender. You're in charge of the fleet. Well, things happen. He has to get the fleet home. He's never commanded more than a couple ships. He was a captain, so he had, I think, three or four ships under his command. Now he had, he's in charge of the entire fleet. And he's making these decisions. He does, you know, he's he's old school though, because he's, you know, everything he knew was a hundred years ago before. Um, and so there's things that they do with like how they treat prisoners. There's things that they do with how they um, interact with the enemy that he's like he's appalled by, and he has to really, um, you know, they don't salute anymore in, in in the military. They're not saluting. So many things that he's trying to fix and make better, and it's just really really exciting to see this book um quick read really really easy we did it as a buddy read i've already got book two so if you guys want to join us in the buddy read for the next one which um i will put the title up and show you a picture of the book whenever i uh go into editing but i am really really excited to continue with the series i believe the initial series is five books and then there's like a secondary series that comes in later um but highly recommend this if you like the expanse you will love this it's it's very much the same it's the military side of the expanse where in the expanse you kind of get like the rebel side this is the military side of it I, I mean very 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 good um highly recommend so if you guys uh like these reviews and you want to see them keep coming go ahead and subscribe i will try to do as many as humanly possible in uh the near future i love you guys i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day enjoy your reading i'll see you later bye